everybody, welcome to Getting Ahead with Reading and Writing. Today we're going to learn a new sound, but before we do that, shall we see how many sounds you can remember from the ones we've done previously? Are you ready? Oh. And let's get the other set. K. G. Mmm. Let's see now if you can tell me the sound and the picture. B for B. A for umbrella. R for rabbit. H for hedgehog. Fantastic. Today's new sound is it's a sound a ball might make when it's deflating. Let's all do it together. So it's for fish and for fox and for flamingo. I'm going to hide the card. If you see a you say and when I show you a fish, I want you to say fish, okay? Fish. Fish. Fantastic. Let's see how we write the f sound, okay? We start at the top, we go around and across. Let's try and write it in the air together. Are you ready? Start at the top, you go around and across. Let me write it on the whiteboard for you. Start at the top, go around and across. Would you like to try and write it on a piece of paper or on your whiteboard? I'll do it with you. Start at the top and go around and across. Let's do another one. Start at the top and go around and across. Here's mine. And the sound is Let's do some sorting and see how many things we can find that start with the sound If they start with the sound we'll put them in the treasure chest. But if we don't, we'll put them in the bin because today they will be rubbish. So let's see what we have first. We have a bird. Which sound does bird start with? Yes, it starts with a b, doesn't it? So that's not today's treasure. So we'll put that in the rubbish bin. What else have we got? Ah, I have a fly, fly. Which sign does fly start with? Yes, it starts with a f, doesn't it? So that's treasure. I have a fan, fan. Yes, that starts with a f as well, doesn't it? Br 
bread. Bread. Which sound does that start with? Yes, that starts with a b. So that's rubbish. I've got a frog. Frog. Can you hear in frog? Good. And there's one last thing. Fish finger. Does fish finger start with a f? Yes, it does, doesn't it? So we found quite a lot of things that started with the f sound, didn't we? Should we take another look? We have a fly. Frog. Fan. Fish finger. And now it's time to play Game of the Day. Our contestants are Yuna the Unicorn and Dino the Dinosaur. What they have to do is to try and score as many goals as they can. To score a goal, they have to pick a football that has a real word on it. So we're going to have to blend the signs together to read the words to see if they have scored a goal, okay? Our first contestant is Yuna. So Yuna, you need to pick a football. Okay, so let's read what it says on the board. It says f-i-p-f-i-p-fip. -f -f is that a real word or a nonsense word? Fip isn't a real word, is it? So Yuna, I'm sorry, but you haven't scored a goal this time. So no points for Yuna on the scoreboard. Ah. Hello Dino, it's Dino's turn now. Oh, he wants the black one. So let's read it together. Fog, fog, fog. Is that a real word? Yes, fog is the weather, isn't it? So well done, Dino. Dino has scored a goal. So that can go on the goal net. Yay! And we'll put a point underneath the picture of him. It's Yuna's go again. Oh, so she wants the red one. Are you ready? Uh, mm, uh, mm, fun. Is that a real word? Yeah, so that's a point for Yuna. Right. So they both have one each now, don't they? Now it's Dino's turn. Okay, he wants the black one. Are you ready? Let's read it together. At, at, fat. Is that a real word? If you think it's a real word, give me a thumbs up. If you don't think it's a real word, give me a thumbs down. Yes, fat is a real word. That's another point. Okay. Now it's Una's turn. Oh, she wants the red one. Ready? Ot, ot, fot. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's a real word and a thumbs down if you don't. Yes, fot isn't a real word, is it? So that can't go on the goal net. No point for you, Yuna. Uh -huh. Let's see if Dino's going to get another real word. Okay. Let's read it together. F -a -n -f -a -n fan. Show me with your thumbs. Yes, your thumb should have been up because that's a real word, isn't it? So that's another point. So let's see who our winner is. Dino has scored one, two, three goals. And Yuna has scored one goal. So today our winner is Dino. Ooh, Dino can have the Medal. 
it's time to write another message. Postman George is waiting so he can deliver it. I need to tell my friend what I saw at the farm and I saw a duck and a hen. So I'm going to write a duck and a hen. Let's count the number of words. A duck and a hen. It has five words, doesn't it? And we need to remember to leave spaces in between. So can you say with me, a duck and a hen? Because we need to say it before we write it. Are you ready? A duck and a hen. So what was the first word? It was a, uh, wasn't it? And a uh is a funny word because it's just one letter. It's like this. Uh. What was the next word? A uh, duck. It was duck, wasn't it? So we're going to sound out duck together. D, a, k, duck. How many phonemes are there? There are three, aren't there? So I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to write my first sound, which is duh, duh, ah. That's the sound ah. Uh. It's different to the word ah. Uh. Duh, ah, uh, k. Now this time it's a curly k and a kicking k. A uh, duck. What was our next word? A duck and. It was and, wasn't it? Let's sound out and. A, n, d, and. So how many phonemes are there? That's right, there are three. Our first phoneme is a. So I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to do a. A, n. And what's that last phoneme? A n d. Let's read it back. A duck and what's the next word? You look at the picture. A duck and a. Uh. It's a uh again, isn't it? Now I can't fit it on here, so I'm going to start writing here. A duck and a, what was it? Hen, wasn't it? Let's find out hen. <sighs> eh, mm. How many phonemes? Three again, aren't there? So what's that first phoneme you hear? <sighs> so I'm going to leave a space. What's the middle phoneme? <sighs> That's right, it's eh. And what's the last phoneme? Uh, mm. Right, let's read it together. A duck and a hen. So it's ready now to be put into Postman George's mailbag and delivered to my friend. There you go, Postman George. just told you about one word that only has one letter, the word a, uh, but this is another one. It says I. Can you say that? I. I'm going to hide the card in amongst my other cards. I want you to see if you can find it for me, okay? It's time for the keyword card show. Let's read the words today using a quiet voice. It is in to know at and the I. Now let's read them using a loud voice. No at and the I go it is in t 
to. Fantastic. We've reached the end of today's lesson. If you find this useful in any way, then please would you subscribe to my channel. It would be really helpful.